would like to get into the combo, talking about how we're going to play through here. So, if we give ourselves something that uh, kind of like a more greedy line, right? If we just have um, anything we want to discard, a Moye and then a Long Young, and then we're going to give ourselves a Thrust. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to be going for the draw two combo. A normal Moye, reveal something, uh, and then from here, we're just going to summon a token. And since we're going to be going for the draw two combo, we're going to use Long Young's effect, discard the other Wear Monster, summon an additional token. Uh, there's only four summons here, so they can't notice yet. We're going to synchro away. And we're going to make the Sinister. We're going to burn for 12, and they have to nib us here. If they don't, we're going to get two draws for free. This is also our fifth summon. So assuming they nib us here, and we use a yellow one just as a Nibiru token, um, and we're getting rid of our monsters in the field. And they have a Nibiru on the side of the field. So it's important to note that they have a monster so we can use Thrust. So what we're gonna do is Thrust here. And Thrust is going to add us Vessel. Now from here, since we control a non-effect monster, we can use Vessel's effect and we're gonna dump and add. So we're going to dump Ashuna and we're going to add at hard. It doesn't particularly matter which one you add and which one um, which one you add here. It can be Vishuda, um, but it just ends up being the same in the end. So since we control non-effect monster, we can use the effect, special summon itself. Then we can use Alishna's effect, banish it from our grave. Summon out the Vishuda. Now from here, we can link these away, or I'm sorry, synchro these away. Into Boxia, yeah. we can use Boxia's effect to spin their Nibiru back to the deck so they don't have the body anymore. Then we can use Adhara's effect, banish it, add the Ashina back to our hand. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to use Boxia's effect, pop the token. We can summon back any of these guys from our grave, it doesn't really matter. Um, if you had something like Ty to discard, that would be really cool. You could use Ty's effect and you could keep extending from there. But obviously, we didn't get to that point. We didn't uh, have the ability to discard the Ty out. Now, from here, we're going to link these away. We're going to make Shaman. We're going to use Shaman's effect, discard the Ashen that we added back. And we're going to summon back the Sinister. Now, since we shuffled back the nib, they have nobody to attack over these with. Obviously, since this is low S in 3000, uh, it gets beat over by nib. So it's super important that you use Boxy's effect to shuffle back. Otherwise, your cards will get beating over. So it still allows you to have two interruptions, um, plus an Ashina and a Vishuda in Grave for potential follow-up, um, as well as having a Shaman on field, which can summon back anything, such as like the Moe, um, or even uh, one of the tens if you need to, uh, just this one. Um, so, having the ability to play through Nibiru with something like Thrust, as well as it being a really powerful going second card, makes it one of the best cards in this sort of deck. Um, if you have any questions or would like the DB link to this deck, uh, feel free to comment down below and I can link that to you. Um, I always try to test these decks a little bit before I make a profile, but yeah. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it and what you'd like to see in the future. Thanks so much for watching.